Insertion sort. Insertion sort is an algorithm to sort an array of elements. So let's look at the steps insertion sort takes using an example. This is the unsorted array that will be given to us. What insertion sort is going to do is it's going to consider part of the array as part of a sorted array and part of the array as an unsorted array. In the very beginning, it's going to consider just the first element as part of a sorted array and all the other elements as part of the unsorted subarray. Now, since a single element array is always sorted, we are only going to take one element in the beginning when we consider this as our part of the array that is sorted. So, we take only one element because single element array is always sorted. Now, what insertion sort is going to do is it's going to include one by one elements of the unsorted array into the sorted array. First, it will include 4 into the sorted array, then it will include 6 and then it will include 5. So the question arises, how is it going to include elements of the unsorted array into the sorted array in a sorted fashion? Let's see by including 4. So I am going to try to include 4. The first thing I will do is, I am going to store this element or the element I want to include in a variable called key. So I am going to remove this element 4 from the array and I am going to store it in a variable called key. So now what does the array look like? The array looks like this and by removing 4 from the array and storing it in a key we have created a space. Now we consider the sorted array which is 7 including the space as the sorted array. So this is going to be the sorted part of the array. So we have expanded the sorted array size from storing only one element to now storing two elements. It, it has all the elements that it previously stored in the sorted array and one extra space to accommodate the element it's going to add. So I have a space in which I want to include four. Now the task for us is we want to place this space in the correct index at which 4 must be placed. So we need to shift the other elements which are part of the sorted array, shift them in such a manner that the space is going to get placed at that index at which 4 can come and occupy the space. So how are we going to do that? To do that we must shift all the elements which are part of the sorted array and are greater than 4 to one index to the right. So how are we going to place this space we have created? All elements in the sorted array that are greater than 4 shift to the right. So now in this case 7 will shift to the right creating a space where 7 erstwhile was.
So now 7 has shifted to the right, occupying this space and now where has the space been created? To where has 7 has shifted from? Now there are no more elements which are greater than the space for us to shift the those elements. So now we can say that the space has arrived at its correct position. When the space has arrived to its correct position, we are going to fill up this space with the element we stored at key. So filling this, we are going to get an array which will be 4, 7, 6, 5. This is when we fill, in, fill up the space. 4, 7 is going to be part of our sorted array and the rest will be part of the unsorted array. Now let's try to include 6. Including 6, first things first we put 6 inside the key. We take it out from the array and we, we are going to store 6 in the variable key. So we have 4, 7, then a space, then 5. So now we consider this the sorted part of the array. The sorted part of the array has all the elements that was erstwhile in the sorted part of the array and one extra space in which we are going to accommodate the element we are going to add. So we need to move to the right all elements which are greater than this 6. So that is only going to be 7. First 7 will move. Seven will move creating a space. And now we will check four. Four is not greater than six and does not need to be moved anywhere to the right. So we can stop shifting elements to position the space now. The space has come to the correct position we are going to fill up this position or we are going to fill up this space with our key so filling up the space we are going to get an array which looks like this now we have included three elements in our sorted array. Now all we have to include is the last element which is 5. So when we include 5 we are going to create a space here. So that will look something like this. Four, six, seven, and then a space and now this whole thing will be considered the sorted array. First we will move 7 to its right because 7 is greater than 5. So moving 7 to the right we will get an array which looks like this. This means we have moved 7 to its right. After that, we will move 6 to its right because 6 is greater than 5. So then we will get an array which looks like this. We will check 4. 4 is still less than 5, so we don't need to shift it anywhere. And in that case, we can fill up the space with our key. So it will be 4, 5, 6, 7. As you can see, there are no more elements in the sorted array to be included in this. There are no more elements in the unsorted array to be included in the sorted array. All the elements are part of a sorted array. And so we return this sorted array. This is how insertion sort is going to work. Now, 
it is important to note when we say a space is created we keep saying oh a space has been created here so 7 is moving a space is created there what does that mean this does not mean that the array is going to store a null value when we say that a space has been created where 4 erstwhile was this means that we have this array element we have stored this element in a variable so although we don't delete that element from the array we don't need the array to keep track of that element that is we can use that block as a space so actually when i say this is a space there does exist a 4 over here which we have stored in key but we consider it a space because since we have already stored that element in some variable we can compromise the block it was occupying in the array so since we are going to store 4 in a variable we don't need to keep track of it in an array and we can compromise the space 4 was taking in that array so again as you can see when we move 7 to the next index we have already have a record of 7 in the next index so we say that a space has formed here because now we can replace whatever was in this index with any variable we want so actually there is a 7 here but since the array has already made a copy of this element we can say that this block is ready to be compromised similarly when we say that this space has been created the minute we store 6 in key what we mean is the space in which 6 was stored in the array can be compromised because we have already stored that element in a variable again we say that this is a space because we have already made a copy of 7 and so the 7 that was erstwhile there this position can be compromised once again when we say we are including 5 and we say the key is equal to 5 we say that we have already made a copy of this element elsewhere and so we are ready to compromise this space in the array again we are making a copy of 7 so we can compromise this space in the array once again we are making a copy of 6 so we can compromise that space in the array this is how insertion sort works and that is what we mean by creating a space